After the excitement of the Anderton boatlift and our time on the River Weaver, we set off to complete the rest of the Trenton Mersey and on to the Bridgewater Canal. And this is our journey from Anderton to Lee. Coming off the boat lift, you can only turn right, so the first thing we do is to go up, and Rob's favourite thing, turn the boat around. As we pass under Soot Hill Bridge, we see the evidence of the landslip that took place on the 25th of January. The navigation was closed until the 21st of April, and even now you have to pass in single file. Barnton Tunnel is only 572 yards long, but the distinctive kink in the middle makes it almost impossible to see the other end. There are no timed passages here, which means there's always the risk of meeting a boat coming the other way, as happened in September 2020, when two 40-foot narrowboats met in the middle of the tunnel. Not only did they meet, but they got incredibly stuck and had to be rescued by the fire brigade. To prevent this from happening in the Salsesford tunnel, you can only enter at certain times. That night, we moor next to this rather innocuous looking mile marker. We then notice this sign right in front of the frog. The breach was enormous. A hole the size of 12 double-decker buses allowed 29 million litres of water to run onto farmers' fields. It took seven months to repair and cost over two million pounds. Good morning. It's ridiculous spring weather continues. We've been moored right there for two days. The last two days because it's just poured and poured and poured and poured and poured some more. Today is Saturday the 21st or 22nd, I'm not sure of the date. Something about that. And we're heading off to uh, our first task is the Preston Brook Tunnel. Uh, you can only go into the Preston Brook Tunnel between the hour and ten past. So, uh, we're motoring down to try and get that timing right. At least it'll be dry in the tunnel. It will be, yeah. Hopefully. And then we've got a 10 mile track to uh, Lim today. That's, that's to go. Preston Brook Tunnel is 1,239 yards long. It officially marks the end of the Trenton Mersey Canal, 92 miles from Shardlow in Derbyshire, where it begins. Preston Brook Tunnel was built in 1777. The process of building a tunnel starts with digging these huge shafts along its route. Men were then lowered down to start the digging. Meeting in the middle wasn't always successful, so some tunnels have a kink, but this one fortunately is quite straight. Out of the tunnel and now onto the Bridgewater Canal. It does not come under the jurisdiction of the CRT and is owned by Peel Holdings. You have to book your passage on the Bridgewater Canal through the CRT website, but it is free for the first seven days.
Lim is a really pretty village and well worth a visit. The next step on our journey is to negotiate the junction at Waters Meeting and join the Lee branch of the Bridgewater Canal. We're going left here, but to the right you can see the main Bridgewater Canal continuing its journey into Manchester, three miles away. We're now in Trafford Park and on the left you can see the huge Kellogg's factory. The factory has its own canal arm, now screened off, but up until the 1970s it was heavily used to take goods in and out of the factory. And a very strong smell of cornflakes all the way down.
We spend a night in the lovely village of Worsley and we notice the colour of the water caused by dissolved iron ore. The Bridgewater Canal is sometimes described as England's first canal. It's named after its owner, Francis Edgerton, the third Duke of Bridgewater, who built the canal to transport coal from his mines here at Worsley to the industrial areas of Manchester. Here at Worsley Delft, we see the historic entrance to the Duke of Bridgewater's mines. So history has it that it was from this point that the very first canal in the UK was built. As we go under Bridge 11 in Lee, we are leaving the Bridgewater Canal and joining the Leeds and Liverpool. <laughs> 